Hi, welcome back, beautiful Libras. Thank you for joining me here, guys. I hope you're doing fabulous. And I thank you so very much for all your generosity to me, to this channel, and to one another. Thank you guys for being so helpful and so generous. It's very appreciated. The I. Initiate portals. Stone circle. Wings of integrity. And the light collects. Okay, let's see what spirit has to say about the eye. Initiate portals to be open and curious. Approach life with innocence and the willingness to see beyond the surface. Assumptions and projections. A surprise opportunity may be just around the corner. You're invited to have an open mind, to be curious and cultivate your inner exploration around a current project or a life situation. There is a high chance that you will receive some good news about a surprise opportunity. This card inspires you to look between the lines and allow your life experiences to reflect your inner reality. Witness life with a childlike innocence beyond your past expectations. Be receptive in this way reveals more insights into the next phase of your journey. Through this open state, you find a flow that deepens your intuitive nature, bringing you into your most aligned potential. Be present with your feelings while honoring your creative or psychic abilities. This spaciousness will lead you to you directly to your goal and what is most appropriate for you right now. They say our eyes are the window to our souls. And when you look into another's eyes, there is a whole universe in there. Often we gaze into another's eyes and see them. Projections and assumptions evaporate even just for that moment. It takes deep vulnerability and strength to gaze into somebody's eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. The Stone Circle. Take a memory trip back to the happiest moments of your youth and allow the nostalgia of your past to delight you in the present and inspire your future. This card signifies revisiting the past as a montage of happy memories, rekindling a connection to the roots of your physical incarnation. It denotes humorous, cooperative relationships without expectation. Where there was a challenge, now there is forgiveness. This is an invitation to reflect on the growth and inspiration that your life experience has catalyst to date. You could travel back in time with your mind's eye to revisit pivotal moments of your past, to get in touch with old friends, or even create a reunion. There are codes for the present moment in these memories. They're asking you to recall what lit you up in your youth, as it may well hold the keys to your future that you're dreaming. It is a reminder that the world is a magical place, especially when we view it through the eyes of the innocent. Before life lessons hardened us or we took our blessings for granted. The keys for the future 
may well have been in the codes of the ancient past and the ones who walked the path long before us. When life was attuned to the rhythm of nature, hmm, wings of integrity, Maintain the integrity of your life force by seeking truths and cutting through illusions. Well, it may seem as if you're getting away with it for the now. If the consequences are negative, the repercussions will be uninspiring, even if not immediate. The effort involved in maintaining any deception is wasting energy. And the situation could snowball into something that is more trouble than it's worth. Treat others how you want to be treated. And if you are not true to your word, this weakens your capacity to harness energy and manifest. You may be swirled up in someone else's misalignment. Does something feel off? Trust your intuition around the situation. If you can, seek direct answers and clarity about what's going on. Then you can decide if you need to set up boundaries, remove your connection to the situation, or enlist the help of others. Integrity does not mean you submit to all rules. You are not without integrity if you do not play along with the rules that are themselves out of integrity or you find alternative ways to do what you feel you need to do. In making your own choices, there will be some consequences and they may not be worth it. It's important to seek the truth in yourself and others and the world around you. The lights Collect. You have reached the destination of your recent journey. Take the time to integrate all that you have learned and experienced before setting out on the next one. The energy of this card suggests that you're a point, at a point of completion, radiant with achievement and fulfillment from the work it has taken you to get here. It is time now to bask in your accomplishments. You have a sense of wholeness that things have turned full circle. Allow yourself some reflection on how much you have grown through this journey. Celebrate your successes and enjoy it this time. You have reached Shambhala, the unity and the harmony reign. If you haven't quite reached the milestone you have been working toward, know that it is very close. This is healthy awareness. Allow yourself to enjoy a complete stop and put some punctuation marks in this life story of yours. There is no need to rush into the next project. Give yourself this time to bask in completion and take a nice deep inhalation which will set you up for greater success once you're ready for the next adventure. You are very close to completion. Remember that sometimes we can become emotionally attached to what we have been deep in and procrastinate on placing the final pieces. This is a not necessary. Know that there will be other projects and endeavors. But it is time to tie this segment of life up in a bow and set it free. That's what it's saying. The wisdom of the sacred. The High Priestess. Mm. 
This could be about a reunion. Learning. Happiness. And reproach. What is the meaning of reproach? Here's the definition of reproach. Address someone in such a way as to express disapproval or disappointment. So someone is afraid. Someone's fears. They, they fear reproach. Fear reunion. Fear learning. Libra. This is a legacy. Withdrawing from a situation or a person. Leaving the past behind. You are sitting here high on life, extremely happy with life, living life to the fullest, excitement and happiness, allowing yourself to have pleasure, doing something pleasurable. The witch within, connecting with your inner witch, amplifying your energy, doing your manifestation rituals. One, oh geez, risky choices. This is saying that one will heal and the other is toxic. A choice between good and evil. You are surrendering, no longer fighting or resisting, letting things be. Giving up control. This is karma. You reap what you sow. Something has come full circle. So this is about completion. Either you have completed this segment of your journey and have to release it, or you're near completion. Surrendering the burden. Risky choices. The choice between good and evil is here. This is a love. This is unconditional love, abundance, and loving yourself enough to set something free and surrender it. Surrendering control. Let what has to be, be. Choosing to end something. This is... You reap what you sow. King and Queen of Swords. Why is the moon here? Secrets? Intuition? The eyes are the window to the soul. What is someone doing here? Resisting? This is an apology? Or is avoiding, making an apology? There's judgment here. The 
eyes are the window to the soul. Hmm. It's a choice between good or evil. This could be reconciliation. Truth. You're happy, you're living your best life. You could be working here. Hmm. This is soul searching here. Someone is very worried. This is an Empress energy. Risky choices. One of these is good and one of these is not good. Ah. Emperor energy. Justice. Whoa, we have King and Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen of Swords, Emperor, Empress. a decision to make. <sighs> Healing. boy what is going on here this is um learning and it could be fears this moon could be fear fear of making the wrong choice Who do I give this offer to? Doing something risky. Spirit is saying one of these choices is good and one of these choices is not. We all know the Empress is good. Okay, we all know that. <sighs> Commitment or a lesson? You reap what you sow. Treat others as you would have them do unto you. 
So the eyes are the window to the soul here. And normally I would tell you, why is this person's eyes closed? And why is this Queen of Pentacles eyes closed? Normally the King and Queen of Pentacles is a power couple. But what is in their heart? The Queen of Pentacles is hanging their head and the King of Pentacles has their eyes closed. So you have to look into the soul. I mean, it might look like Everything is shiny here on the surface. But what is underneath there? What is in the soul? Is a tower. This is an awakening or should be an awakening. Someone searching. chose the devil. Else to recall your childhood innocence. What excited you? What excites this person? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my God. It's a legacy. This person regrets their choice. Why is it that they cannot look at this person. Why can't they look this person in the eyes?
This person is soul searching. They are. They chose the devil. Because of their own fears and insecurities? They regret not choosing you. They're reminiscing their childhood. The innocence of your connection. They regret, they're angry that they they're spying on you. You're this person's happiness. This is the legacy. You were this person's happiness. You're getting the legacy. This is high honor, high respect. They could have married someone else. This could have been out of superficiality. But they can't look at one another. They cannot look at one another. They have each other, but they can't look at each other. So it's like they had a choice of superficiality or real love, and they chose the devil. Said one of these will choose the good, and one of these will choose the evil. And this person chose the evil. Now they're angry and want revenge. On a third party. Ah, so this could be This could be a false twin that they went to. Lying, deceit, trickery.
Ten of Swords. Here. Fears. Ah. Emotional manipulation. <laughs> They're being emotionally manipulated or they emotionally manipulated you. Ooh. Leaving someone out in the gold. That's what they chose. It's a karmic uh, soul tie or an evil, <laughs> a karmic twin. You reap what you sow. You treat others how you want to be treated. walked away heartbroken or they just abandon you sorrow they regret their choice They left their twin, the real twin, out in the gold. That's a false twin. Consequences for their choices. Being called back to childhood. Being called back to a time of childhood innocence when things were pure and look look like these people look at one another you breathe me in I breathe you in they can look into each other's souls and reminisce this is innocence Purity. This is innocence. Priestess. Queen of Wands, this is a leader, your inner witch coming forth. They may have made fun of you. They may have even made fun of your, your gifts, your high priestess energy, your, you know, people could have called you a witch. This person could have called you, you know, a witch, thinking that you were some kind of spiritual person, 
Maybe they are more traditional. But they never had such a pure love. Then with this high priestess empress. simple. You treat others how you want to be treated. Now they're at the River of Tears. Like I don't understand why this person made their choice because you lit this person's world on fire. They, it was like youthful, it was exciting, it was everything that they had ever wished for or dreamed for, but they fell for a false twin, enticed by superficiality, emotional manipulation. Someone manipulated them emotionally into being with them, maybe seduced them with finances or seduced them, um, they are being seduced. And they regret their their choice. They regret you brought this person to life. It's like that is the consequences. They gotta face the consequences of their actions. There's no way to get around it. They gotta they have to get their karma. They're, they cannot get out of this. This is not something that they they can control. And the sooner you surrender and the sooner you just let it play out and let the universe deal the universe will deal way quicker than if you tried to control the situation. Just let it go. And you were still in love with this person when you surrendered them. One will heal and the other is toxic. The choice between good and evil, danger, risk, warning. simple. You treat others how you want to be treated.
the enemy. Cause them doubt. Fear, perhaps. It's funny, you know, like I said, when you two could look at each other in the eyes, your souls recognized each other. They cannot look at each other. You know, this power couple business can be a good thing, but it also can be a very toxic thing. Because when people are so focused in on money, they often forget about the soul. You may not have all the things, you know, that you want out of life or figure you're entitled to out of life, but you have that soul connection. They can't even look at each other in the eyes. Power couple connections are not easy connections. They're not. Because they are superficial, very superficial. They can be a really good thing and they can be not so good thing. Just for finances alone, mm -mm. never works out. However, if it's a deep soul connection, you can have the things of a power couple. They just didn't realize it. You know, money can corrupt you. And it's looking like money corrupted this person. Lust and money. I think that's why this person had a tough time being around you because they couldn't look you in the eye without feeling guilty they do not have to look at this other person for a karmic twin. Good luck, Libra. <laughs> 